In the previous video, we created a REST API to expose an XBasic method in a class that was uh, very simple. It didn't the, uh, the method didn't require any arguments. In this video, we're going to create a new method in the class that requires an argument and show how we expose that through a REST API. So let's go here and uh, edit our XBasic class. And uh, in the interest of saving time, I'm just going to copy the um, class definition from the clipboard. So I'll go here and paste in a new class definition. And uh, you can see that what this class does is, um, so the class is called getCustomers. It takes as its argument uh, customer ID, and then it makes a SQL query against the sample Northwind database and finds all of the fields for the customer ID that matches the passed in argument. So this, uh, this uh, getCustomers method now takes a single argument. So let's go ahead and uh, save this and then we can go to the interactive window and test out this new method that we've defined. So we'll go over here and we'll say uh, dim p as, uh, as an instance of this class and then we'll go here and say p dot get customer and I'll type in one of the customer IDs from the Northwind customer table and so that would be a l f k i and then press enter. So we can see that the uh, class returns an object with a bunch of properties in it. So let's go now and see how we can expose this class in our API. So we'll go back to the web projects control panel and now we'll go over to services and we'll edit our service and we can see here that uh, we have uh, uh, shown over here are all of the methods uh, for this service and you can see I've already turned on the uh, get customer method. So let's go and start from scratch. I'll turn it off again now. So now the new method here, get customer, has not yet been exposed in the service. So we want to expose it. So we'll go there and say edit method properties. Go there and choose that. And we can see now that this method uh, has arguments. You can see that the argument customer ID is shown over here. And so now we can go ahead and choose how this method will be called, what verb will be used, so we can choose a get, and then we can specify how this customer ID argument will be passed in. It could be passed in as a as part of the path as we've defined over here, or it could be passed in as a query parameter. So you can see if we bring up the help on exposing web services, you can see that one of the ways in which a query, uh, an argument can be passed in is as part of the uh, uh, query parameters like uh, for example over here or it can be passed in in the uh, path itself as we've shown over here. So in this case we're going to be passing in the argument in the uh, query string i.e. in the path and so let's go ahead now and click OK. You can see now that we have a green icon there indicating that this method has now been uh, exposed. So we'll go ahead now and click Save and then we'll do a live test of this uh, API endpoint. So go ahead there. The browser opens up. I'll just resize the browser so we can see all of it. And then we'll go ahead here and test out this new uh, endpoint. Uh, we'll hit the Try It Out button and we'll type in our customer ID which will be ALFKI and then click on the Execute button and you can see there's the result of our API call and you can see also here the curl command shows how this API call uh, was made and you can see that the customer ID is part of the uh, URL uh, that was used to make the call. So what we've shown over here is how to expose a method that takes parameters and how you can define the uh, REST API specifying exactly how the parameters are going to get passed to the method. Thanks very much for watching.